Hi, it's Jessie from lydessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to bring you a little mini album and it's a bit of a throwback. So back in 2018, I made this One Sheet Wonder little mini album. It's called a One Sheet Wonder because I used one sheet of 12 by 12 paper to make it. And uh, and obviously I did a bit of cardstock for tags and things. And uh, I have been meaning to make it again and have never actually got around to it. You'll see I never actually put any pictures in it or anything, uh, which is the case with lots of things. OK, so I thought I'd make it again and I'm doing it for a blog hop, which was a throwback. And I've used this shed loads and there's this lovely pattern. Uh, which is non-directional, which I think would look nice on the outside. And then that's quite nice on the inside. And then I can pull out, um, I made those whimsical tags. So I've got all of these. There's a butterfly there, we don't want that. So I've got all of these cutouts that I did on my whimsical tags. And I thought, oh, I could use those to decorate. So... That was my idea. So that's what I'm going to do. So I want this to be on the inside and that to be on the outside. Now, I went back to my blog back in 2018 and there's this template on it. Now, I haven't made this since 2018. So I'm going to follow my instructions and my template to um, make this. OK, I was just checking. I was recording because my uh, my mirroring software is frozen. So um, not very helpful. I just I use it to check I'm in shot. So here we go. We are going to score at four inches. and eight inches and then we're going to turn quarter turn 90 degrees and we're going to score at three three and a quarter six and a quarter six and a half and nine and a half. <laughs> to do but we won't do it until we've done the cutting so I'll put it that way so what we've got here is I think sometimes it's quite handy to have a little look see here so we've got these two channels here where we've got two fold marks and that gives us the the um, sort of spine for the folding over and what we haven't done is the spine for getting the flap over and I'm doing it afterwards because I want to cut these corners out and those are what I use to create pockets um, around the, the journal, mini album, whatever you want to call it. OK, that's got magnetic closure um, and I just put, well, that's um, a loyalty card. But, you know, you could put a gift card in there if you were making a little mini album for somebody's special birthday. And then you could pop in a little gift card as well um, for them to spend. So now we need to do some cutting. So I'm going to bring in 
um, my big scissors and um, <laughs> kind of look at my look at this so that I can uh, make sure I'm cutting in the right in the right place so that's the way up so we need to cut everything that I have shaded so we're cutting these two channels out just to this point leaving it on the center bit and these two channels out so we'll cut them first and I go slightly on the inside of the score line so that it is as straight as possible that's why I like to use my big long scissors and you could use your trimmer but I find that once it's been scored that sometimes you get it tears it doesn't actually doesn't actually cut so go down there and then cut that off so a nice strip I might keep that so do that for all of these and so that is one fold up there so get these finished being cut out I will have the template on my blog so you can look at it and you can take a screenshot it is a, a sort of a hand drawn one but it does it does show it well I think if you want to screenshot that just leave it there I've handwritten on it as well in my awful scroll the uh, cut marks so there we go There's that, so we'll take them up this end as well. So that's... Oh, that way, aren't we? So that's those bits taken out. So now I need to take on the shorter section, for that way around, get it right. So we're on the shorter section, this section that's it's just two and a half inches, we're going to take each of the corner pieces out. And then we're going to save those four pockets. Don't like the way I've cut that. That's better. So we'll use those four pockets. So we've got that, 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 and then that will fold, that will fold, and that will fold over. But we need to do our score line for that bit to come over. So I'm going to um, bring back my scoreboard. And we want to score, so it wants to be a three-eighth of an inch gap there. So um, it's two and a half, so we go back one, two, three-eighths. So we're going to score there at two and an eighth to give us our correct spine here. And that will allow that to be over there. So it has to be a little bit thicker than that edge so that it goes round all, all the folding. Okay. So I'm just going to burnish that a little bit better. With my bone folder. So the other thing that we're going to trim off a little bit, so we've got, so these two bits, I 
are going to fold up. Now, you might notice there's a little bit of bowing there. Now, you can see that. And that's because they're all the same size. So we need to just take the smallest smidge off the top here, which is why we've got a little bit of cutting there. Um, and this will just make it sit better. So just going to put this. You could do it by hand if you want. I can't cut that straight very well. So tiny, tiny smidge, little, little tiny smidge. And that will now mean that that will fold completely flat. There is no bowing there now. If there is a bit of bowing, then you might want to go back in and cut a little bit more off. OK, and then it's a matter of deciding about your pockets on the inside. You can do your own or you can follow what I did. But this is now where you can make it your own. I did it so that we had two full flaps there and created pockets there and there and left that as a photo mat. Pockets on the back there. I left that plain. I'm really not sure why. For a photo, that could be plain for a photo or you can put, um, it is actually, oh, that's because it's down, not up. Um, oh yeah, I did it the other way around on that one. Cut the smidge off that one. I suppose I could cut the smidge off them both. Then the middle one, so the middle section, I did it as a pocket and I actually wanted the pocket to be the other way around. I wanted a small flap at the top. Um, so this was a slight mistake, but actually I quite like it with a long flap. So then you've got a space there where you could journal um, or, you know, put a photo, got a pocket for putting things in. Whereas if you had a smaller flap like this one is smaller, um, you've got less room. So I'm going to keep it like that. So um, I will be cutting the this way. And then this one, I cut that there so that we had a little flap. But I could mirror that and have big ones. Doesn't have to be um, a little flap there. In fact, I think in terms of space for uh, photos and journals, I think I might prefer it if it was bigger. And then obviously pockets on the back. And you've got to remember that uh, these, these three are going to be seen. So you're going to partially see that. Um, you're going to see that at the front and you're going to see the back. So I just made them decorative. I hope that makes sense. So I am going to, so that's down, that's up. So I'm going to cut this sort of halfway. So I cut it. Using my little trimmer here, you can use a big trimmer. So it measures four inches. So I cut it at two. So I'm going to put that crease there to the to the two inch. It doesn't have to be precise. And cut. So that's the bottom of the pocket. And then we've got a top bit. So I'm going to cut an inch. Off this now this could all be done on a big trimmer in, in, in one go but just in case you haven't got a big trimmer just wanted to show that you can do it this way so that's my pocket that's my flap over the pocket and then we've got this side here which I can do a bigger pocket but I think it's quite nice if they're kind of mirrored and it's the same so I'm just going to take the smallest smidge off the top there so I am doing it slightly different to my template so 
that is. That is the bones of our little our little folder. So I'm just going to round some corners. Large corner rounder. So I'm going to this is the flap, so we'll have some rounded corners on that. Because that'll look pretty. And that is the pocket down so I'm going to put rounded corners on that there we go I think oh obviously rounded corners on all of them yeah I did so I just decided Go mad with the corner around it. Apart from that one, that's the pocket. I'm going to leave it as it is. So there we go. Right, so I am going to. Um, my pocket and these are the come down just so that goes down and these ones are going up so we've got our off cuts the pockets let's have a look at the off cuts that we have I've got a tiny off cut there so I decided to do so that one's mounted on cardstock. That one's as is. There isn't one on that one. So that's probably that one. And then we've got a diagonal pocket there, and a diagonal pocket there, and a cardstock one there. So I cut these in half I think to create a diagonal pocket there and there so that's what I'm going to do create myself a couple of diagonal pockets because that will be nice and then I'll cut that in half to create a smaller pocket so what I'm going to do is trim off the score lines And I have two diagonal pockets. That's nice. So have I got score lines on that? I haven't, but I am going to neaten up because I cut these by hand. I am going to neaten up those edges. Like so. On this one, let's take these score lines off. And then this one I want to cut in half. So we're just a smidge shy of four. So we'll go a little smidge shy there of two, which is actually five centimetres. I think that'll work, will not it? Doesn't have to be exact. Do you know what I could do? Just fold it in half there. Fold it in half, Jez. That'll work. So I have my... I slipped there. Oh, I can't get this down. If you don't hold that, you get a slightly wonky cut. Because it can move. So there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. I've still got that strip. If I want to use it for something. So, 
I don't have to follow exactly. So, that could be a diagonal pocket there. Is that where I put it? No, I put it on the inside. So on the inside, diagonal pocket there. One of these. One of them's wider because it was cut from a different place. So that can go on there. Then we've got, oh yeah, I have these two short, smaller bits and that's what I use to mat on the cardstock to get me, to get these pockets. I use these because they were smaller. So they were used to mat and then cut down slightly. And then we've got, another one of them oh that's from there so if I want that I need to cut this flap down if I want if I want a pocket there to match that I need to cut that flap off so this will then go on that outside like so and we'll have to make another pocket there. I do have a little strip that I could use to mat a pocket down there. There, cooking on gas. That's what we're going to do. So that is going to be on the outside, matted, and that one's going to be on this outside, matted. Ah uh, no, on the back side on the back side matted. That's how we're doing it. Hope you're not too confused. It really is entirely up to you how how you do these. So I'm just going to corner punch this so that it fits nicely in that pocket there. And then I'm going to glue it in place. So I'm just going to put a glue using Tombow. And then we're going to cut that down. Right, that is... I'm going to stick it down and then I'll just trim, trim the top bit. And then I'm just going to get the snips and just trim a little bit there because the top top's rounded. Thank you. So that's that's cool, coolio. And then I'm not going to deal with that right now because it's. Needs magnets for closing and that so, or however I choose to do it. So what have we got here? We're going to sort that pocket out because I've made this differently. So I'm putting the diagonal on this bottom section. You don't have to do a pocket in the centre. They could just be more mats, but I like having. I think a closed po pocket is quite nice. And I say certainly the idea of giving it to somebody for a special birthday and having a gift card in there as well. Or even a wedding and you could Add photos from the day or, you know, their engagement or their relationship and have a little gift card in there. I think that is quite cool. So, so we need 
pocket on the back there, a pocket there, and a pocket there. So I had these two matching because that looked quite nice. So I've got to decide which colour cardstock I want to mat. I kind of did a double mat. So I'm just going to check the colours in the paper. So I created one of the pockets. So I'm going to do the other one here with you. So I decided to go with crushed curry and soft suede. So I've cut them down. So I kept the little off cut, the width it was, and I've just trimmed it down. And I'm going to use some sixteenths. Um, you can um, adjust it if you want. I just went for that size of a margin. You can adjust them if you want to. So this is one and nine sixteenths. This is two and three quarters by one and thirteen sixteenths. Uh, and then this is two by two and fifteen sixteenths. And it's because it's not quite three inches wide because we've trimmed a bit off for the um, Oh, on that one, we trimmed a bit off for the score line. And on this one, we've got a bit of a fold line. So that is how I did it. But you can decide yourself how you want your um, your layers to be. Um, you can take that 16th off and make it just a, a rounded number. I find it quite easy to do um, the 16th with... Um, my stamping up trimmer i can see them really well but i know some people don't like them and some people work in centimeters and uh, i'm still very old school when it comes to my measurements besides which my school board is in inches and eighths so that's what i work with i always sewed in inches and yards never sewed with centimeters and I think it stems from that really even though I was educated in the metric system well it changed changed in my lifetime and my childhood but um, I uh, yeah, I'm just an inch girl, really. I know exactly what a metre is and I know what 30 centimetres is and etc. But and I'm still very much miles, can't do kilometres. No idea what that means. I know that 5k is about three miles. Because I've done the race for life. I've done 10k actually as well, which is about six miles. So there we are, just gluing that on there. Could of course turn it over and use the other side if you wanted to, but I quite like um, those being in that way. So We've got we've got a closure to make and decorate the back if we choose to. We've got our two pockets there which will have tags. Now I did pull out these whimsical tags that I made and um, they're ever so slightly too tall. They would be okay in that one because it wouldn't matter them sticking up but you couldn't put them on the inside. Now there is um, the dies that are slightly smaller. I might look into those, decorate them in the same way. Then we're opening up there. We've got that, we've still got that to do. Then these come down, got a pocket there and a pocket there, but I've left them without one. It is entirely up to you. You can add more pockets if you wanted to and I do have this this strip left over so I could put a pocket there I could put a belly band um, if I wanted to but I'm um, I'm not um, at the moment so I thought these need a little bit of a border on my original one 
we used to have a punch that punched this border and that's what I've used on the edge of these diagonal pockets and on that one. So we've got dies now with borders so I will use that instead. So the borders I got to choose from, so I've got the ones in Blossom happy blooming happiness and we've got the one that looks like a torn edge of a notebook and we've got one there with just the holes um and then we've got this stitched scalloped quite like the stitched scalloped i think that might be pretty so i think i'm going to go with that one and i think i might do I'm going to cut out soft suede and crushed curry and decide which one I like the best. So I've cut them out and I kind of looked at it and I thought I do prefer the soft suede, I think. I think the darker is better. Also not a huge fan of crushed curry, if I'm honest. So, yeah. So I've cut them out. I've got a spare. I'm not quite sure what I was going to do with that. But then I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do... Um, another pocket or not with the other bit I've got left over so I just thought these finish the pockets off nicely otherwise they're sort of neither here nor there really are they glasses Jess the um, let's go Put it under there so I can actually see the edge. There we go. Stick that down like that. I do think that does finish it off nicely. There we go. I'm just going to take my plain fold off. I haven't, haven't put the lip down on that. There we go. Do that one. I actually want to fold this over so that I don't get it stuck unnecessarily. There we go. And then I just need to trim the excess off. So trim that off there. Trim that off the top there. Curves a bit at the top here. Agreed. Uh, don't know if I'm in shock, giving up on me mirroring software. Today goes like that some days. Temperamental. Gives a nice flush edges. those bits I think that finishes those pockets off nicely uh, so we've got lots and lots of space for photos and journaling we've got our tags we need to now sort our pocket out They look nice. So I'm going to think about my pocket closure. So here we are all set up, ready for uh, decorating. 
so I've kind of had a little play and a thought these are all the the bits that I scan and cut it out so I've kind of got my little my little pots here with the different things in and I've done a bit of stamping um, when I made the other one we had a stamp set which had some really lovely lovely sayings and um, I, I used those so I have done um, the tags and the journaling cards and I did make them um, were well, decorated them in the same way as I did the the whimsical tags so I might speed through that section because I have got a video on it um, so for these pockets I decided to make them tags and then for all the others I've done them um, as a as a, a rectangle journaling card just left them plain on the back okay so i'm gonna sort of show you how how i cut those so i've got that one to do and that one to do so one's a tag shape one's a journaling card shape so the journaling card shape it's really really simple i've just hole punched it now i've got um two two sizes hole hole punch corner punch even i've got a small one and i got a large one i decided to go with the small for this i'm just going to do the bottom section on the oh didn't do that one very well bottom section on this one and the top section i'm using this um lovely triple punch that we now carry and uh, you get a really nice tag topper. I'm not going to put the hole in because I don't want to have um, don't want to have any sort of ribbons on this. I'm just going to neaten those edges. They've got like the the cut line from the from my trimmer. Okay, so the uh, first thing I did was just do a bit of bit of inking so got my soft suede got my blending brush bought some new ones got three new ones of these as well which will make life a little easier and then I just brush around the edges and then that keeps it in keeping with the colours in the paper because it's it's soft suede but it goes from light to dark um, so I thought using this crumb cake for the um, for the tags and journaling cards and then brushing on some crumb cake it's kind of giving you the same effect as you've got like on the stems of those um, toadstools and on me on me little bit of slice slice of a tree there so I just did this over on both sides and by doing this it means I don't have to come in with a sponge to ink the edges because they're they're getting inked at the same time so did that so we do this one in exactly the same way so they're all done and then just like I did when I made these tags, I got these stamps out and these are from Happiness Abounds. Those three ooh, stamps there. Thought I'd knock the ca camera then, but I didn't. I knocked the uh, knocked my iPad. There we go. So I just put a bit of this stamping around give a little bit of a pattern behind the uh, the toadstools etc so did that in exactly the same way as I did before and then I just stuck these on so I need another one of those I'm just going to place them on and show you what I did. So then kind of went for a little bit of leafy foliage, deciding on my 
I cut those out in previously, but I sort of with with a good bit of placing, I can cover it up and not actually need to need to worry about it. And then just took butterfly and stuck it up there. So that's how I I did those. So I'm just going to get those quickly decorated. <laughs> finished and ready to go in so that can go in there to match that one and then that one is going up there so now I have decided how I'm going to do this pocket here let me just close that up so we can just concentrate on this so rather than do a magnet I thought I'd do a little tuck, just a little tuck there, I thought would be quite nice. So I've used um, a day to remember here from days to remember um, and I've cut it out with this lovely label die in this set here from natural prints really love that label down what i really like is it's got some nice detail around there it's like embossed there i thought that was just super and i've still got although i can't see it right now yeah there it is i still got this so i thought i'd stick that across there as well and then that can go on there like that and that will tuck tuck down that was my thoughts of doing that before i stick it down Achoo. Achoo. Oh. so and then and then it's just the main closure and i've got things ready there to go on just and I'm doing this before I stick it down because if it was stuck down I won't be able to cut the ends off see I do I do think even at this time in the morning it's quite early for me to be filming but I woke up at six and I was like really it's very early for me to be getting up. There we go. So that's that. So now I'm going to stick those edges down. I'm going to use a bit of Tombow for that because it's quick drying and very strong. There we go. Stick that down. Here's my dry baby wipe in case there's any oozing. There we go. So that's, that's my pocket secure. So now I've got to think about where this is going to go. And my thoughts are, so we've got little dips in there. And if that was sort of lined up there where this pocket ends, and stick it down that was where I thought it would go so I'm going to glue this bottom half down and then I'm going to get my glasses so I can so I can tell because it's hard to see so I'm just putting That 
นะมาลงนะStuck in there, really, really well. So that was that bit. I may decorate further. Haven't decided. I was thinking I might put some some things on on here, but we're gonna carry on for now with the rest of the decorating. So, like the other one, I'm gonna stick something on here that overlaps something on here and there'll be magnets underneath that was that was my that was my thoughts so i've got a little a little tree slice some some things to decorate and i did remember i've got some birds and i thought they might look nice as well i thought i got a bird out so i've got a bird for the front and i thought i might put a bird on the inside as well. Are the birds in here? No. No, no, no. Got some birdies in here. So this is all from the same paper. So I could put a little birdie on there. Like it's looking at that. Looking at that butterfly. Thought that was cute. And then I've got, always remember, which can go across there. I can put the magnet underneath that and then on top, using my layering circles, I've done, these are the moments we'll look back in, look back on with joy. Love that statement. So I got the always remember and this from Peaceful Moments. So I've cut this with my layering circles and I've cut it with a bigger um, layer around because the one that is immediately above this it didn't it, it doesn't overlap that much really so so I'm gonna stick that on there decorate around with some more bits and um, on the other side there you've got a little bit of that sticking up I don't mind thought that was that was okay so um, I'm going to put my magnet directly on this so that it's because it's got a few layers there of DSP to go through so I thought it would be best doing it like this so let's get me magnets here so I buy nicodidium is that how you how you say it, nickel didium, didium, I don't know. Anyway, really, really strong ones. I buy them that are one millimetre deep. And sometimes they're eight millimetres wide and sometimes ten millimetres wide. It does depend on what, oh, there we go, what I can get. Oh, can't even, can't even see because you haven't got your visor down, Jez, as in my glasses. So... This will be eight millimetre, eight millimetre wide. I say sometimes I get the 10. I once bought, it's really hard, to, they're so strong, they're really hard to get off. I once bought ones that were, I think, three millimetres wide. Well, they were ridiculous. They were far too tiny. And um, yeah, waste of time. So gonna put a dab of glue about there and stick that down sometimes I use glue dots but I feel they've got a little bit of lift on them that down right this is going to go over I'm kind of centering it so I need to make sure my glue only goes up 
to there. Yep, happy with that. So give that a good press. And that is the magnet well and truly secured. And before we go any further, pull that off. We are going to... That just sticks. It just... Hold it from not very far away. <laughs> just jumps. Just jumps to go to go down there. So I will use a glue dot here. So glue dot. Stick a glue dot on the back here. And then we can close this over. Give it a press. And then it will stick there. Genius! So now we can glue this in place. That's how we get our lovely hidden closure. Love it. I'm going to put a little bit of bow on top of that magnet. And that won't be seen because you've got that there. I might do it that way around so that bit's There before I go down, yeah, it's covered nicely. Could even come out a bit, couldn't it? Yeah, we can go a little bit more center. Back press, losing there, removed it. It's all right though. So now these bits are ready for decorating. So got my bits here. So we'll put this to, I think these need a little bit. Oh, I didn't ink around that either. Yeah. And then we're gonna put our toadstool on. Toadstool, little birdie. And I love it the way the colors all match they're all from the same paper pack not from the same sheet but they are from the same paper pack that is all being covered up and then we'll decide where we want this i think across like that yeah so it's part of the the cluster open up here because it's on the other side of this just give it all a good press from behind. I could have inked round all of these edges if, if I wanted to. Right, so then we've got that. And so then I thought I might thought about just sort of lots of thought about a few leaves coming up here. Oh, that was quite nice and then a little butterfly it's gonna put a bird on it but that kind of overlaps so i think i might leave the bird off thought that looked quite good so i am just gonna put that together So there we are, that's that's it done, and that's the middle one done. So we need to put that away, so open it up, so that card is going into here, and then I thought we'll just decorate that corner there with some toadstools and a little birdie. Don't need to decorate these, the paper's quite busy. So it's absolutely fine. And then you can add things if you want to. If 
you've got some nice stamps with sentiments on that you that you like that speak to you you could add those but I thought I'd just leave them plain to um, add photos or memories as and when so that is that's it done how cute love that and I'm just leaving those plain as well so there's lots of plain areas you've got tags and journaling cards to put photos memories whatever I just think just think it's lovely Uh, always forget down first Jess down first and then we've got spaces there as well for photos a couple of nice tags there pretty little cluster and I'm going to leave the back plane it doesn't need anything on it I like the way the acorns are centered there I think that's worked really really well so that's my little throwback let's get my original in and um, that's it, bang up to date with new products. And um, maybe now I'll actually fill them with some memories, who knows. Right, so link down below to everything that I've used that you can purchase over in my shop. Um, I'll have some close-up photos over on nigesa.co.uk. And um, yeah, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Hope you like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. and do everything that you do on YouTube. Okay, bye for now.